All right, so we're going to talk about Tennessee quarterback Nika Iamaliava, talk about the keys for success against Florida's defense, and talk about how you can bounce back from the game against Arkansas. We're going to talk about Florida's defense. We're going to talk about the keys for Nico and what he can do and the type of plays he needs to have to have success against Florida's defense. And then look at some film here in about two minutes that are hopefully does a good job demonstrating what we're talking about. And it is broadcast footage, so we have to we do have to slow it down. So I do apologize for that. All right, Florida's defense has not been a very good defense so far this year. Now they're probably coming off their best game against UCF this past weekend, but against AM, they gave up 310 yards on the ground. Against Miami, they gave up 144 yards on the ground, but Cam added on 385 yards passing. So let's talk about what the defense for Florida tried to do against AM and tried to do against Miami. So against AM, they blitzed Marshall Reed 68% of the time or 68% of his dropbacks. That's the highest amount I've seen so far this season. I'm not saying that there, there haven't been teams that have blitzed more, but out of the teams that I've kind of broken down, it's the highest amount I've seen a team blitz on a quarterback's dropbacks, and they only got pressure on seven uh, dropbacks. So they blitzed 68%. They're trying to get pressure. They only got pressure on seven dropbacks. Marshall Reed was 7 of 12 for 156 yards and two touchdowns on plays where Florida blitzed him, right? So they blitz, they try to get pressure. Reed had success. All right, against Miami, they blitz Cam 60% of his dropbacks. That's the second highest I've seen any defense blitz on a quarterback's dropbacks, uh, second to the, the game we just talked about. And Cam Ward were 17 to 21 for 308 yards and two touchdowns against the blitz. They did get 18 total pressure, so they got a little more pressure. They got, they got one sack. Uh, on cam but still not very successful and you saw each quarterback had success against the blitz now arkansas they only blitz 30 percent of the time against tennessee on nico's drop back so can florida change and can florida follow the blueprint of arkansas certainly so i would i would encourage them to do something different uh, will they do that will remain to be seen now arkansas did have strategic blitzes now a lot of times they drop seven or eight to try to confuse nico but they did have strategic blitzes so we'll see what approach florida's defense takes against Nico. All right, let's talk about Nico and then we'll look at some film. My big theme around Nico is how do you bounce back from a tough, a tough loss? Like we talked about, you are two touchdown plus favorite against Arkansas and you lost. And now you're a 15 ish point favorite against Florida. So how do you bounce back? Well, number one, you have the superior team, superior team, excuse me. So you want to rely on your team, rely on the run game. Like we talked about AM and Miami had success on the ground against against uh 10 um, excuse me against florida right so rely on your team rely on the run, run game you shouldn't have to make a ton of throws against florida to to win in theory but you're still going to make a few throws i think so key number one make plays against the blitz we talked about how often florida blitzed on passing downs on quarterbacks dropbacks and how successful marcel reed and cam ward were so key number one have success against the blitz if they do choose and decide to to blitz you as much as they blitz a and and miami key number two Get the ball out quickly on some Josh Heupel design plays. And, and we're going to look at some clips of Miami and AM here in a second of them getting rid of the ball quickly on some, some design plays. And we'll look at some Heupel type design plays. And key number three, underneath type accurate throws. If you're accurate and Nico is an accurate quarterback and you hit your receivers in stride, that allows a lot of yak opportunities. So your receivers are able to do work uh, and able to, to take off the load from Nico. So key number one, make plays against the blitz key number two get the ball out quickly on some hypo design plays and key number three accurate underneath throws and let your receivers do the rest of the work so with that said let's go ahead and look at a few clips of florida's defense and how miami and anum had success against florida's defense look at a few plays then look at a few plays of nico against nc state and i think we show ou as well and look at a few nice throws and plays that you want to to mimic against this florida defense so We'll go ahead and check out this film. And as always, if you're first time tuning in, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you're an SEC quarterback fan, uh, follow us along. It helps us grow. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at the film. All right, so let's look at a few of these clips. First clip we're going to look at is Cam Ward throwing a touchdown on a corner route to the slot receiver. You're going to see Florida brings pressure. They bring five. They don't get to him. Again, against Miami, they blitzed 60% of cams dropbacks they did not find much success either oh, they found more success getting pressure than they did against AM. but pressure or they, they bring pressure they don't get to them cam makes a nice good throw for a touchdown here all right next clip we're going to watch cam ward again it's against florida's defense and they don't bring pressure here let's see okay did i mess this up okay i apologize they do blitz okay so they do bring five and they have a delayed blitz bringing six this is a good example of a nice creative play getting the ball out quickly 
And I think Nico and I think how Josh Heupel designs the offense, there's several plays where the ball can come out real quick uh, to the tight end, to the, to the receivers on screens that I think can, can, you can have success against Florida's defense. Because, look, the ball comes out quickly. Florida's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys within one yard line of scrimmage. Then you have four guys, you know, six plus yards, and you got blockers ahead of you. So it's a nice design play. Get the ball out quickly to the tight end. Ends up being a nice, successful play. So we're going to watch two more clips. We're going to watch Marshall Reed, the uh, quarterback at A&M, or he was the quarterback at the time, against Florida. And we're going to see another quick play where the ball comes out quickly. Again, I, th- I think, like, if Florida continues to blitz as much as they blitzed against Miami and, and against um, – against A&M, then I think Tennessee's offense should have a lot of success. Uh, again, maybe Florida changes. I don't know. All right, so this is a good ball by Marcella Reed. Ball comes out quick, right? Notice they blitz here, and you replace – or wh- wherever they blitz is where you want to throw the ball. Usually that's where the hole is, and that's where the hole is right there. Good job by Reed getting the ball out quickly, get up field for, for a first down, right? And you also had other guys that were – that were open and good, good blocking downfield as well. All right, so if the Florida blitzes, get the ball out quickly. Trust your offensive line also to pick up the blitz. Last clip that we'll watch is a good, a good accurate throw. Let me move this. A good accurate throw by Reed, and they don't blitz here, but sometimes like when they have a, a, a guy act as a spy, it's almost like a blitz as it relates to the defenders in the back. So even though he's not blitzing, he's still taking away – the defender from defending the pass and so you have six defenders in the back as opposed to having seven here if that if that makes sense so reads here is going to have a nice good throw accurate throw and notice that accuracy leads to yak opportunities so a lot of good yards after the catch for anim's receivers which i think nico can take advantage of with his ability to throw accurate balls and, and how dangerous the receivers are after the catch. So let's look at Nico real quick. First two clips we're going to watch are accurate throws. This first one's an accurate throw here. It's hit, it hits his receiver in stride. And notice OU Blitz is here too. So this is against the Blitz. One, two, three, four, five. They bring the Blitz. It's an accurate throw down here. Receiver's able to catch the ball in stride and get upfield for a big play. I think they get a field goal on this drive, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see because Nico hit him in stride, the receiver didn't have to stop and wait for it. He's able to get upfield and make a big play so that's one of the main keys against Florida's defense is be accurate underneath let your receiver do the rest of the work here's a touchdown pass it's like a little bang route here deep post another accurate throw and you're going to see OU brings five right they bring five they bring uh, the thread of the run creeps up the safeties here oh they have the spy here I apologize they bring four with the spy remember we saw Florida do that but it takes people out of position to defend the pass so you only have six defenders as opposed to seven Nico hits his guy in stride, accurate pass, and he's able to do the rest and go in for a touchdown. So last clip we're going to watch of Nico is an example of getting rid of the ball quickly. It's an example of, of Hypo having some nice design plays where the ball gets out quickly, some misdirection stuff. And again, we saw clips of Miami do that, and we saw AM get rid of the ball quickly. NC State does bring pressure here, right? They bring pressure. The thread of the run brings everyone up. And the tight end, I think the tight end, the tight end running back, whoever it may be. Oh, is that the receiver? Okay. Sorry, I don't have all the names, guys. I apologize. We do a lot of SEC QB content, so we don't have all the names for receivers and backs and tight ends. So someone can let me know who that is uh, in the comments. I do apologize. But nonetheless, I do think it's a good example of type of plays that could work against Florida's defense. If you're a Tennessee fan, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. One, what do you think the keys are to bounce back? And two, what are the keys to have success against Florida's defense? If, you need, if you're Nico, what do you want to see from the offense and Nico moving forward? And, and as always, we're a big SEC quarterback hub, so please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, share the video if you like this type of content. Thank you for watching. Keep following us along. We'll see you next time. Peace.